Uh, chapter 2, we also include um, 10.1, even though it's in a different chapter. We throw this in because it goes with our similar figures and solving equations. Um, chapter 10, section 1 is about Pythagorean theorem. And by the end of today, since it's a one-day lesson, you should be able to solve problems using right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so first let's talk about what this Pythagorean theorem actually is. Okay, Pythagorean theorem only works for right triangles. Okay, notice that this one has the little box here, so that means that it is a right triangle. It means it has a 90 degree angle. Okay, um, the Pythagorean theorem is a way for you to find the length of a missing side if you have a right triangle. The formula for that is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, you cannot rearrange those letters at any point. They have to be, the c, it always has to be equal to the c. Um, what is the a, b, and c? If we look at our triangle, the hypotenuse, the only one that really matters, that is always the c, and that is always the longest side and the side that's directly across from the 90 degree angle. The two legs are either A or B. It doesn't matter because we're just going to add them together anyway, but the legs are A and B. Okay. Now we're going to use that formula to figure out missing side lengths. So this shows tiles that are squares, but every square is made up of two right triangles. So what is the length? of the hypotenuse of the right triangle shown. Okay, so we're only using this triangle. So notice that our 90 degree angle is right here, which means that is our C or our hypotenuse. Okay, we're gonna, because it's a right triangle, we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, and we're in luck. This time it's really easy because A and B are the same, but I'm just gonna label them just so that I know in the future labeling is helpful. Okay, I'm going to plug in what I have. So my A is 6 inches, so 6 squared, plus my B, which is 6 inches, 6 squared, equals C, because I don't know that one yet, squared. Okay, step two is to actually do the exponents. Remember PEMDAS, I don't have any parentheses, but I do have exponents. So 36 plus 36 equals, I don't know what C is, so that has to say C squared. Okay, next step is to do any multiplying or dividing, which I don't have, I'm gonna add or subtract. So 36 plus 36 is 72, which equals C squared. And a lot of people make the mistake of stopping here, but I don't wanna know what C squared is. I need to know what C is. So I need to undo that squaring. The opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. And if you remember, whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other side. And it doesn't tell you, but I'm going to round to the nearest tenth if that's necessary. And when I take the square root of 72, that gives me about 8.5. And that also cancels out the squared. So now I know that my side C, or my hypotenuse up here, is about 8.5 inches across. Okay, what is the length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle with legs of length 9 centimeters and 12 centimeters? All right, so I'm going to draw this right triangle to the best of my ability. Um, it says, what is the length of the hypotenuse? So this is what I don't know, it's telling me that the legs are 9 and 12. Doesn't really matter which one's which. And then I always write down my formula so that I don't forget what I'm plugging in. Okay, I'm gonna call this one, let's change our color here, I'm gonna call this A and this B, so when I plug in I know what I'm doing. I have 9 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 9 to the second power is 81, 12 to the second power is 144, and I don't know what C is, so I have to leave that. 81 plus 44 is 225. And then to get rid of my squared or my second power, I need to do that square root on both of these. 
and this one comes out nice. The square root of 225 is 15, and our label was centimeters, 15 centimeters. All right, now we're gonna look for missing sides that aren't the hypotenuse, which makes it maybe a little bit more tricky, just have an extra step. Okay, so again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, because I know that both of these are right triangles, so I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, I'm gonna plug in what I know. This is If this side is b, this side has to be a, since our hypotenuse is always c. So I'm gonna plug in five squared, plus this time it's b squared, because I don't know that one, equals 13 squared, okay? I'm gonna actually square these things, which gives me 25 plus b squared equals 169. Now I'm trying to get this b by itself, so I need to start working backwards, okay? I'm gonna get rid of the 25 by subtracting it or moving it to the other side. Okay, 25 minus 25 leaves me with just b squared, and 169 minus 25 is 144. Okay, so now I know what b squared is, but to get just b, I need to get the square root on both sides. So b, side b, is actually 12 centimeters. Okay, so it is one extra step when I have a different letter besides C missing, but it's nothing that you haven't done in the past. Okay, on this second one, if this bottom one is A, the 12 has to be B, because that is our hypotenuse, which is C. So I will have A squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. All right, then when I actually square these things, I have A squared, plus 144 equals 225. Okay. I'm gonna subtract 144 so I can start getting that A by itself. A squared equals 81. Then when I take the square root on both sides, I find out that A is equal to nine. And this one doesn't have a label, so just nine units. All right, a student found the length X in the triangle at the right by solving the equation 12 squared plus 13 squared equals X squared. Describe and correct the error. Okay, what did they do wrong when they set this up? If our formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. It, may, it might help if we label all the parts first. 13 is the one directly across from the 90 degree angle. So that's our hypotenuse, which is always letter C. And then this could be A and this could be B or the other way around. So what we need to look at, they have 12 squared plus 13 squared equals x squared. Is Oops, sorry. Is x squared the hypotenuse like we need? No. So that was the issue that they made. They put it in the wrong order. They actually have a squared plus c squared equals b squared, and you cannot change the order. It always has to equal the hypotenuse. All right, conditional statements, hypothesis, and conclusion. Okay, so when we have, uh, they're gonna ask you for things like, um, they're gonna want you to prove if things could be a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem. And if it's not, they want you to give a converse. Okay, so um, if, it had this length, then it would be a right triangle. The hypothesis part is the if, okay? So that's, that's our, our educated guess. 
the conclusion or the final would be the then part, okay? So if today is Friday, kind of our hypothesis, then tomorrow would be Saturday. That's the truth, conclusion. If it's Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. Converse, if tomorrow is Saturday, then today is Friday. Okay, they're not always true when they go both ways, but the converse would be the opposite direction. Okay, so the converse of the Pythagorean theorem says if a triangle has side lengths A, B, C, and A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Is this true? Yes, this is true. Okay, so we're gonna use this here. This is an example to show you when we'll use this. If a triangle has side lengths of three, four, and five, is it a right triangle? Okay, the only way to know this is to plug these in to our a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, well first I need to know which length is the a side, which is the b side, and which is the c side. But remember on the very first slide I told you the a and the b, the legs, they don't matter which one is labeled which. The only one that matters is the C, or the hypotenuse, and that is always the longest side. So this would have to be my C. The other two can be whatever we want, so I'm gonna call this A and this B. Okay, so if I did three squared plus four squared equals five squared, we need to see if that's true or false. Nine plus 16 equals 25. What is nine plus 16? It is 25. So if I get an answer that is true, 25 equals 25, then yes, this is a right triangle. Okay, the second one, they give me three different side dimensions, 5, 7, and 14. This is going to be my hypotenuse because it's the longest side, and those two I'm just going to label as the two legs. Okay, so I would get 5 squared plus 7 squared equals 14 squared. Okay, five to the second power is 25, seven to the second power is 49, and 14 to the second power is 196. When I add 25 plus 49, I get 74, which does not equal 196, so this is not a right triangle. Okay, that is how you prove whether something can or cannot be a right triangle. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure you watch the video again. Otherwise, come find me and ask me questions. Um, I will. I have a book that if you'd like to read, I'm going to post it later today called What's Your Angle Pythagoras? Just kind of a fun story. Um, it's a kid's book, but has truth about the Pythagorean theorem. So check it out if you'd like. Otherwise, your assignment for today is on page 